Here. Thanks, Christophe. Okay, I will uh, I will present uh, my activity. Uh, it was uh, I'm working at the uh, HIVD, uh, that is the, a part of HESSO uh, uh, Applied Science uh, School. We I, I made the evaluation of uh, state of the art uh, AD. Converter. How can I change the slide? So, presentation de detail uh, will show what are direct sampling advantage. Uh, there are a lot of uh, of challenge because this uh, this device has, are really state state of the art uh, for all domain around. Uh, around the device. Uh, during this activity, I I didn't implement processing, but it's some kind of, of vision what would be necessary to, to use really uh, the device because it was mainly uh, an evaluation board for the, the ID converter with uh, FFT uh, analyzer. So on the, this device is, uh, is a 6.4 giga sample per second, 12-bit AD converter. The, it has a, the, the, the bandwidth, uh, useful bandwidth uh, of the, Sample and all the uh, is a bit less than uh, 30 giga gigahertz uh, frequency uh, at uh, minus 3 dB uh, point. Then you you should use uh, the device for a lot of uh, frequency band uh, from uh, from DC to to millimeter uh, to 30 giga, gigahertz, but you you need to uh, implement uh, a very uh, a very good front end to 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 be compliant with uh, the the sampling um, theory, and then it's it's more than uh, band pass sampling. It's band pass sampling. Uh, Generally, the the using of uh, of uh, the AD converter is more uh, low pass sampling, and uh, it is easier to to use with uh, such a high uh, bandwidth uh, device. You need to implement some uh, band pass filters in front, and also low noise uh, amplifier because the the AD converter is uh, is not a sensitive receiver and uh, uh, noise figure is about 15 dB and some, some like of that. Uh, then we, during the activity, we, we implemented some uh, band pass filtering for, for the different uh, receiving a uh, use case we tested uh, l s band and and space x band uh, to to implement uh, a real uh, a useful device the the band, the the filter specific specification is very important to to avoid to to alias energy in the the region where the the, the signal is is folding and also uh, jitter is 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 very important. Uh, it's very important to to keep the the dynamic range of, of the receiver. If you if the clock source have uh, has a too high uh, jitter, it will be converted as uh, as noise in the in the receiver passband.
and after the the the, the, the evaluation board of the was the manufacturer device manufacturer board regarding the the design aspect uh, for uh, it it needs really uh, state of art uh, buses because the the output of uh, of the converter uh, delivers uh, 76.8 gigabit per second to to the FPGA device. The the evaluation was based on on, on Fourier transform uh, into uh, FPGA buffer, and then to to implement uh, to implement uh, a SDR uh, device with uh, such a, a component uh, it is not any more feasible to to use uh, uh, direct uh, down converter uh digital down converter like in the other uh, devices like uh, pluto or lime sdr and, and what is on the market for uh, for lower uh, bandwidth the, you need to to rethink uh, all the process because the the time domain uh, convolution is not anymore feasible due to to FPGA uh, limitation that are uh, very important regarding the, uh, the, 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 the stream. Then te techniques like frequency domain uh, decimation must be, uh, must be implemented. So that that are only ideas. I I didn't implement that during the the activity. But some some guys in the SDR uh, scene, uh, like uh, the Open HP SDR, have uh, already take this uh, this path to for up to thirty megahertz. Uh, SDR and the, there is only a very high speed uh, link to to the computer, and uh, all process is, is done uh, by high performance FFT. For that use case, uh, GPU uh, FFT, QD FFT in Jetson Nano uh, hardware could be useful. But for uh, for a very high performance uh, AD converter like uh, the one I tested, you you need to impl implement uh, this uh, decimation uh, unit uh, on the FPGA side. The technology that the manufacturer used uh, didn't implement, implement any uh, decimation uh, uh, circuit in in the in the integrated chip because the the technology used technology was uh, bipolar and uh, this technology doesn't uh, allow to implement. Uh, very uh, high, uh, highly complicated uh, device uh, process you need uh, to to implement decimation because you need to implement the the Fourier transform to to be able to to reduce the the data stream. Uh, 
the, the data, the, 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 the frequency domain uh, decimation uh, need, uh, need a Fourier transform kernel quite small to, for example, if, uh, if, if you want to to extract uh, a 300, 300 bandwidth uh, from the 6.4 uh, giga sample stream, you need a 64.50. And you have some basic uh, operation to, to extract the to extract the interesting information, you can rotate the the the, the Fourier transform beans to to put to to trans to move the the zone in of interest at the center of bandwidth. After you you. you Filtering is only to a multiplication with a, a passbound window, huh? and after after the this filtering uh, this filtering uh, process, you you get the samples by uh, an invert Fourier transform, and last you you discard. Uh, all the, the sample that is that are uh, unuseful, but all these uh, operations must be done in a very high speed uh, implementation, and there are some methods to to parallelize the, the Fourier transform to to cope with the with the FPGA fabric uh, fabric uh, limitation and this operation can only be done in in the FPGA uh, fabric because it's, uh, it's really uh, a lot of information. So uh, you are on the twelve minute mark. Okay, now, now the just to finish, uh, there are already uh, French company that's using that uh, the, that that device uh, for uh, for a three three gig uh, sample, so it it shows that it's feasible, but it's a, a private company. But I think uh, we we get some a lot of uh, good things in open source uh, FPGA uh, frameworks that made a lot of uh, progress uh, this year. I think it would be feasible in uh, in a few years uh, to have a higher uh, performance uh, SDR like that for. Uh, for uh, for spectrum uh, analyzing analysis monitoring or demodulating uh, wide bandwidth uh, for uh, mainly for uh, satcom uh, ground segment so uh, a nice activity uh, would be interesting to to have a FPGA platform uh, with a ten already a ten gig uh, Ethernet interface to to progress in the evolution, but uh, that is uh, quite uh, quite a, a big job. So I'm done with my presentation. <coughs> Thank you, Christophe. Um, let's see if uh, we have any questions on the chat, or you can unmute yourself and ask anything you want, Christoph. Not for me, it's okay. <laughs> okay. So as I don't see any questions on the chat or people popping up with them, 
would like to thank Christoph for his presentation, and we can move uh, forward to the next sub activity and the next.